ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತರಂಪರಾಂ ಓ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಎ ಸಮ್ಮರಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ನೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ very important portion of vedanta sureshwara acharya discussed here the entire 119 verses can be classified into five topics in those five topics how other subdivisions are discussed i will mention those names ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ವಿವೇಕ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ what is this self and what is non self then the second topic is from 45 45th, 45th verse onwards up to 57 almost don't take exactly almost very close to these verses anatma mithyatva nischayam ದ್ವೈತ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಆರ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಒನ್ ಸೋನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹೇತು ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ದ ಮಿಸರಿ ಒನ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಎಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಕಾರಣ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಎಲೋನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ liberation that is the fourth topic from 98 onwards up to 104 98 on, onwards 104 then fifth and last topic is vedanta mahavakya eva gnanam ದಾತಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷದಿಕ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯಂಸ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು sorry 110 onwards up to 119 last verse 
that is the conclusion now how this uh, first topic uh, summary is uh, subdivided up to 10th verse Purapakshi is introduced by Sureshwara Acharya. The Purapakshi up to 1 to 10, I didn't tell you what happened 1 to 10. 1 to 10, Purapakshi Akshepaha. Why you the Advaitin say Shastra Pramanam alone can give self knowledge? How you are so vehemently taking this Shastra Pramanam alone, that alone word you are using. Why? Why can't other Pramanams, Anubhava Pramanam is there. <coughs> why can't Anubhava can give that or why can't logic can give? Why only Veda Pramanam, Vedanta Pramanam? that is Purapakshi is arguing. For that only Sureshwara Acharya says Vedanta Pramanam alone can give. So he establishes that by giving Shruti Pramanam, Shruti Yukti Anubhava, Shruti Pramanam Acharya highlights. So that is the reason so Vedanta, that sentence, Mahavakya sentence is alone, uh, unfold this knowledge, reveal the knowledge. Then up to there, he tells there are different Adhikaris are there. Based on Adhikaris, um, Shastra is uh, prescribing and Uttama Adhikari, Madhyama Adhikari, like that, then Uttama Adhikari is able to grasp easily, but um, Madhyama Adhikari needs a lot of uh, analysis, more and more manana nididhyasanams are required. For that, uh, in this below, before 10th verse, Padartha Shodhanam is required. Why people are not able to understand, Sureshwara Acharya says, lack of padartha shodhana. Padartha means pada artha padartha. In the Mahavakya, tvam pada artha shodhana, analysis, thorough analysis. Why people are not able to understand, Acharya gives the reason. Because of lack of padartha shodhanam, lack of clarity in tvampada, lack of clarity in tatpada, lack of clarity in asipada. Therefore, many, many Vedantic students also are not able to get clear knowledge. That also Acharya does. Why he, he, how he can take anatma, uh, mithyatma, nischaya means um, he talks about uh, tvampadartha shodhanam um, elaborately, then tatpadartha shodhanam uh, clearly, then he says uh, because of this tatpada, tvampada clarity if you get, anatma, mithyatma is very easy. Then from 11th verse he goes, how? Anatma is Mithya, Dvaitam, Anatma means Dvaitam, duality, how duality is unreal, that he establishes. In that he takes um, first Sthula Deha Viveka from 11 to 21, the subdivisions I told you, you know, in um, Atma Anatma Viveka, he takes Sthula Deha Viveka, then 22 to 24 verses, he takes Sukshma Deha Viveka, uh, discriminative knowledge between subtle body and Atma, and gross body and Atma. From 45 to 52 alone, second topic comes. Now let us see the, <coughs> let me summarize this uh, 
Atma and Atma Viveka, how he does. <coughs> Prapancha, the universe and the body. Sariratrayam. Both are Anatma only. Both are come under Anatma. Normally, we separate uh, this body mind from the world. Normally, we do that only. I am the experiencer of the world. World is different from me. From uh, ordinary um, human being standpoint. But Shastra says, uh, very very difficult task this is. Shastra include this body mind also as a part of this universe. Because both are having a lot of lot of me not cent percent hundred percent similarities common features what are those common features we saw five features world is uh, um, having bhautikatvam world is um, having bhautikatvam first we will take drishyatvam <laughs> drishyatvam means it is objectifiable objectifiable drishyatvam body mind is also having drishyatvam how body mind also included in the world and this is very important to assimilate world is also objectifiable experienceable body mind is also objectifiable experienceable therefore there is no difference between world and body mind complex point number one Point number two, there is no difference between world and body mind complex, both are anatma only because of the second reason bhautikatvam. Both of them are made out of both means body mind complex, put together one component. World and body, three bodies, I use the word only body mind complex. Okay. Both are made out of matter. Bhautika means what? Matter. Prakriti. No difference between that. Both of them are made out of their products of matter. Number two. Number three. World is sagunam changing. Now you can see the spring season is going to come. Vasanta Rutu. How the leaves are changing. All old leaves are falling new leaves are coming this change you can see in the world every object whatever you buy after some time it will become you no know, uh, declension in that object whatever you use for some time it changes the whole world is changing what about your body mind Sureshwaracharya asking your body mind is also violently changing Violently changing because Balyavastha, Ibanavastha, Vruddhavastha, physical body is having. Mind is also violently changing. Morning one type of mind, afternoon, evening. Your mind is also changing. You have Anubhava experience. Therefore, world is changing. Body mind complex also changing. Therefore, Savikaritvam. Both are changing. Changing nature, both are common, same, similar features. Therefore, body mind is also anatma, world is also anatma, both are anatma. Then, fourth one is sagunam. Prapancha is having three gunas. Sattva guna, rajoguna, tamoguna. Trigunatmikam jagat. Because maya is trigunatmikam. World, Maya is the material cause of the world. Therefore, world also having gunas, attributes, colors, uh, uh, height, weight, lot of attributes are there. As many varieties, so many attributes. What about your body mind? Body mind also has got lot of attributes. Complexion, color complexion, height, weight, body. Hmm? fat, thin, all attributes are there. 
mind also has got attributes emotions lot of attributes are there all emotions are what nothing but uh, ichcha dvesha sukham dukham sanghata chetana dhritihi all these are sagunam therefore sagunatvat anatma this is they both are come under anatma then fourth one is fifth one is agama paitvam coming and going world is also all objects are coming and going manufacturing date expiry date whatever to your body mind complex having arrival and departure in swapna avastha gross body is not available in deep sleep even sushupti and deep sleep sushupti subtle body is not available therefore agama paitvam arrival and departure they have therefore mind also has got all these five features body also has got all these five features just like a world therefore whole world body mind complex put together one anatma put in one basket then we come to atma nature atma is quite opposite to all these five you all very much familiar with this topic if this is clear only you can have that mithyatva nischayam later atma is not objectifiable it cannot be objectified experienceable it cannot be experienced it cannot be observed it cannot be objectified aprameyam quite opposite to the anatma now i am not using the prapancha deha shariram i am using one word for prapancha deha and sukshma sthula shariram one word that is anatma non self so anatma is having drishyatvam whereas atma is not having drishyatvam it is adrishyatvam adrishyam etad adrishyam agrahyam adrishyam is that it is not experienceable agrahyam it is not graspable by any sense or gaan therefore adrishyatvam number 1 difference number 1 between atma and anatma then different number 2 between atma and anatma we said anatma is bhautikam made out of matter prakriti whereas atma the consciousness is not made out of matter it is not made out of matter it is different from matter prakriti number 2 therefore abhautikam atma is abhautikam number 2 3 is anatma is savikari atma is nirvikari atma will never change balya adishvapi jagrada adishu sthada sarvasu avasthasvapi that samvit atma is same in three periods of time and three avasthas at any place at any time it will never change nirvikaritvam so third difference fourth difference nirgunatvam there is no gunas in the atma atma is attributeless atma is attributeless nirvisesham nirgunam therefore atma and atma both are opposite diagonally then last and final one atma doesn't have arrival and departure like anatma body mind world they have arrival departure but atma is uh, uh, never having any arrival and departure it is nityam eternal always there past present and future also so therefore atma is anagama pai atma is nirvikari atma is nirgunam atma is abhautikam atma is adrishyam 
सो दीज आर द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन आत्मा एंड अनात्मा देर फोर हाउ कैन यू टेक अनात्मा एज युअर सेल्फ यू आर नॉट जडम दट जडत्वात दैट आलसो पॉइंट यू कैन ऐड अनात्मा बै इट सेल्फ हैविंग जडत्व इनर्टनेस सिक्स पॉइंट यू कैन ऐड जडत्व इज द आत्मा ईज सेंशियंट चेतन चेतन आत्मा सत्यम अचेतन जडत्वात अनात्मा मिथ्या दट पॉइंट कम्स इन द सेकेंड टापिक दिस ईज द फस्ट टापिक ओवर नौ सेकेंड टापिक ईज अनात्मा मिथ्यात्व आर् वे कैन से द्वैत मिथ्यात्व मिथ्यात्व मीन्स फॉलसीफिकेशन फॉलसीफिकेशन मीन्स इट ईज नईदर एब्सल्यूटली रियल आर् एब्सल्यूटली अनियल मिथ्या इज ए कैटगरी बिटवीन सत् एंड असत देर फॉर मिथ्या इज सद असत विलक्षण दिस वर्ड इज वेरी इंपारटेंट इट हेज ए बारोड एक्सिस्टेंस वाट इज मिथ्या दैट हुच हेज गॉट ए बारोड एक्सिस्टेंस इट हेज ए बारोड एक्सिस्टेंस देर फॉर अनात्मा जगत देह मन थ्री ऑफ दम आर् मिथ्या बिकॉज ऑफ बारोड एक्सिस्टेंस दे डोंट हेव इंडिपेडेंट एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ देर ओन then who gives the uh, sentiency to this body mind i alone lend exist existence and sentiency to the body mind complex when we say the first point because they are um, not having uh, one their own existence then how they are existing they have borrowed existence from where what they have borrowed body mind what they have borrowed from whom from where they have borrowed existence from atma they have borrowed sentiency from atma therefore kadan vaangara anartha okay aham satyam jagat mithya i the lender of existence and sentient consciousness to the inert body mind complex i am satyam i the lender is satyam the borrower mind body is inert mithya therefore jagat mithya jagat means body mind also included so this is these are the two points one is it has got a borrowed existence first argument Advaitin is arguing to that pura pakshi uh, how anatma is unreal. We have to establish second argument. I alone am the um, experiencer of the world, as or I can say I am only the lender. I am only empowering the world to exist. another way of expression i the atma am alone by lending uh, existence and consciousness i empower the world to exist second argument third argument is this um, anatma body mind complex has triputi pramata pramanam prameyam drik um, drashta drishyam and the um, drishyam and what is uh, knowledge pramata pramanam prameyam karta karma karanam triputi gnana indriya dwara vyavaharika triputi karma indriya dwara also triputi is there karma vyavahara sik and gnana vyavahara sik we have Uh, triputi in the body mind complex that is there in anatma 
this triputi elaborately lot of slokas we saw this triputi pramata the knower the known object and the knowing instrument pramanam drashta drishyam that uh, whatever um, uh, knowledge comes uh, that is also both of three of them are mithya triputi is mithya why they are mithya because each one is depending the other each one is jadam by itself they are sentient because of me they are not sentient by themselves either pramata nor pramanam nor prameyam therefore what we saw pramata cannot know pramata pramata cannot know prameyam pramata cannot know independently pramata cannot know um, pramanam independently similarly prameyam cannot know the pramata and uh, pramanam pramanam also cannot know pramanam pramanam cannot know the prameyam and pramata each one of them mutually depending on their um, each other for their existence without the experiencer observer the knower there is no known object known object is irrelevant without the knower without the knower known object is relevant irrelevant without that uh, object uh, knower is irrelevant knower is the knower when the known object is there known object is the object when the knower is there knower and known object both are able to mutually coordinate each other because of that pramanam instrument without karanam both of them are useless pramata without karanam he cannot uh, experience the object object cannot be an object without the pramata witnessing it or watching it observing it uh, with pramanam so pramanam is very important three of them are mutually depending upon each other three of them cannot know themselves they cannot uh, separately exist they cannot have their status they have only mutual dependent existence whatever is having dependent existence they are unreal that means pramata pramanam prameyam is unreal therefore this is called anyonya anyonya uh, aadharaha anyonya uh, um, depending upon mutually these are all uh, uh, given in many shlokas acharya explained therefore atma is asangaha with this triputi atma doesn't have any sanga asanga atma avyavaharyaha triputi does vyavahara vyavaharam vyavaharam is possible in anatma not in atma avyavahara asanga atma this is the third argument in madhu brahmanam second chapter fifth brahmanam visa um, and in bhrugu valli also visa um, anyontara uh, atma ananda that all uh, anatma nischayam also done there mutual difference is there and um, uh, lot of uh, dependency is there for everything therefore they are not identical can you say um, since they are also sentient body mind can they be identical with atma you cannot say if they are not identical are they different from atma they are not different from atma also totally masthani nacha masthani that means they are neither totally identical with atma body mind or body mind cannot be different separate from atma why na because 
भिन्नूपेण वभिन्नूपेण वैव साधय शक्य साधय किं साधय ईडेटिटी एंड भिन्नता एंड अभिन्नता दे कैन नाट बी ईडेटिकल दे कैन नाट बी डिफरेंट आलो बिकाज दे कैन नाट बी ईडेटिकल बिकाज दे डोंट हेव देर ओन सेंशियसि देर ओन एक्सीस्टेंस दैट्स वै दे आर् नाट ईडेटिकल वि आत्मा आत्मा ईज सेफ एविडेंट दट ईज चेतन स्वयं चेतन स्वरूप आत्मा नेवर बारो एनी एक्सीस्टेंस फ्रम एनी वन आत्मा नेवर बारो कॉन्शियने फ्रम सेंशियसि फ्रम एनी वन दट ईज वै आत्मा दे कैन नाट बी आत्मा वेर एज बॉडी यू मैंड दे बारो सेंशियसि दे डिपेंड अपॉन आत्मा ब्लैसिंग टू एक्जिस्ट देर फोर दे आर् नाट ईडेटिक कैन यू से दे आर् टोटली सपरेट न दे कैन नाट एक्जिस्ट एट आल विथट चिदाभासा ब्लेस्ड ब्लैसिंग दट चिदाभासा इज बिकॉज ऑफ आत्मा चैतन्य देर फोर दे आर् नाट सपरेट आलो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दीज रीजन देर इज नो ईडेटिटी बिटवी मैटर एंड स्पिट there is no identity there is no separation also because matter does not exist separate from the spirit or consciousness or atma therefore they are neither separate nor identical bhinnapya bhinna pibhayatmikano sangapya nanga pibhayatmikano so therefore they cannot be proved because of um, the matter being jadam they cannot be proved by themselves therefore we can never say hmm, we can never say i am jadam no i am not jadam body becoming sentient we do not know that it is blessed by me the atma that is the third argument so acharya gives the fourth argument to do the mithyatva nischayam of this anatma shruti pramanam also is there these are all yukti pramanam what we said now until now three arguments are yukti pramanam now the shruti pramanam also he gives um, the plurality and the duality are not real they are not there really na bhumi rapo na chavan nirasti van shruti pramanam कैवल्योपनिषत् दृश हु विल सी दृष्टेद्रष्टार कें विजानीया कें शुणुया न द्वितीयमस्ति दर् इज नो सेकेंड थिंग वाट ईज देर टू लिजन हू लिजन वाट नो सेकेंड रियल थिंग ओके देर फॉर द एक्जिस्ट सीमिंग एक्जिस्टेंस इज कॉल्ड मिथ्या what is uh, existent is uh, not um, um, separate from that seeming existent one is not separate from atma is uh, not uh, if it is really there it cannot be negated if it is world is real body is real mind is real they must exist all the time they are not existing in deep sleep time what to talk of pralaya they are not available therefore atma is uh, sat principle anatma is uh, na sat na asat uh, like rabbit horn totally asat brahman totally sat the mithya prapancha deha and mind they are appearing appearing hmm? in their appearance is real but their Um, what you can call factual factually they are not there in real sense so that is the idea atma is um, uh, sat anatma is 
neither sat nor asat therefore mithya so sruti pramanam brihadaranyaka then next topic third topic in the mithyatva nischayam itself there are subtle points how can you do this mithyat means that advaita siddhi 53 to 57 aham buddhi bhadhi tattvat if aham buddhi in deha mind if you drop the identity with the body mind aham buddhi bhaditam if you negate that then advaita siddhi is easy nana so then atma also presented as kutastha atma is presented as kutastha nityam all these are also given in the um, mithyatva nischayam topic la then next topic third one is agnanam eva samsarasya karanam from 58 to 97 what type of agnanam agnanam there is one slow story he said one beggar imagining that uh, he became a rich person he got a son soma sharma uh, son also and he was doing some wrong actions and hit his son and uh, the beggar lost his food also what was there in the bowl whole thing what he imagined was full unreal like that only soma sharma kathavat <laughs> the beggar story like acharya gave that a story there sri shri acharya like that whole samsara is just like a beggar story therefore why this agnanam about what how this agnanam is there ಅಜ್ಞಾನಮ ಸಂಸಾರಸ ಕಾರಣವನ್ನು ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೇ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ದೋಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರಂ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಫೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ that chidabhasa alone is ahankara lower i that lower i chidabhasa ahankara you are taking as yourself that is the mistake what you are doing that is the mistake you are super imposing the ana um, atma lakshanas anatma lakshanas to atma and atma sentience you are taken it as granted in anatma that ahankara vyavaharika i lower i you have taken it as real because of chida bhasa three sharirams or pancha koshas they have become uh, sentient you have forgotten that you the atma chaitanyam lend this sentience to the inert body mind complex you are the higher i atma sakshi chaitanyam you you are blessing only making this whole world to function this gnanam is not there you have got agnanam dehatma bhava pranatma bhava identity with the prana body mind family possessions profession and superimposing all this bhranti is there because you have uh, taken anatma as yourself you have mistook anatma as yourself you have missed the, this atma nature because of this ajnana superimposition like rope snake also he mentions and talking about that rope snake which is non existent like that people talk about the world body mind family process so many things these are all only for vyavahara they are not real if they are real they must exist they should not be negated satchetna badheta 
if it is real world it cannot be negated body cannot be negated mind cannot be negated but they are negatable asacchet na nivartayata sacchet na badhyata asacchet na nivartayata you need not negate whatever is non existent non existent need not be negated existent entity need not, cannot be negated therefore we are negating the world means what by gnanam agnana is removed therefore how this agnanam will go away how my superimposition adhyasa will go away self ignorance or moola vidya basic nibandhanam is moola vidya avidya nibandhanat he said avidya avidya is the hetu avidya moola vidya self ignorance is the hetu for brahma bhramti etc samsara worries problems etc etc therefore what is the solution fourth topic gnanam alone is the solution ಆತ್ಮ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಾರೋ ಗಿಲ್ಟ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ ವರ್ರಿ ಆಲ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಯು ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಅನ್ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ therefore gnanam alone is the remedy then role of self and the role of the mind also he discussed in 71 to 75 what is the role of atma it blessed the inert body mind complex to function in this world for vyavahara that is the role of atma chaitanya it illumines the world it illumines the inert things it lends existence and consciousness that is the role of atma what is the role of mind mind serves like a mirror medium between the world and the atma so atma i the consciousness bless the mind mind becomes sentient that mind make use of these sense organs gnana indriyani karma indriyani and see the shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha in the world karma vyavahara gnana vyavahara it does mind has got its own role i the atma cannot reflect everywhere i the atma reflect in the mind mind alone can borrow me this my chaitanyam from me stool shariram cannot borrow therefore stool shariram has to uh, see the world sense organs uh, mind need sentience from me the atma therefore mind is the mediator between the body gross body world and atma mind serves like a medium that's why it is called antakaranam that is the role of the mind that is also beautifully explained then uh, how you can uh, get this knowledge how can you do this mithyatva nischayam and uh, anatma gnana uh, sorry atma agnyanam is there atma agnyanam has to go what is the prakriya uh, anvaya vitreka prakriya anvaya vitreka prakriya co presence and co absence you see what is present in everything all the time atma what is missing sometimes anatma in sushupti avastha in swapna avastha they are all having changes that is why uh, that anvaya vitreka is the prakriya used to get uh, this uh, um gnanam that is the fourth topic gnanam eva moksha karanam from verse number 98 to 104 the for that he gave one example dream example through dream you can understand when you wake up waker knowledge waker knowledge makes the dream free in a nightmare 
you are free from dream the dream is not real dream is not a dream for a dreamer in the dream dream is not a dream for a dreamer in the dream or dream is not a dream uh, for a dreamer in the dream when it is dream only when you wake up like that here also when you understand your real nature atma chaitanyam aham swayam prakashah i the consciousness i am different from the ahankara or jeeva chidabhasa so waking up is the only solution to come out of from the dream similarly waking up to my real nature is the only solution to be free from moksha means what freedom from insecurity freedom from sorrow that is called moksha gnanam alone is uh, release you from bandha what you are thinking you have bandha actually it is not there that is uh, your brahma or bhranti nar therefore um, you have to understand how you have to get this knowledge that is important how to get knowledge nar <laughs> you get knowledge only by bhagatyaga lakshana gnanam means what here agnana means what agnana means atma anatma mixture Uh, you have mixed up and messed up you have to that anatma part body sharira trayam ar pancha kosha chida bhasa all of them are anatma separate from them the atma that bhaga you have to take how in tattvamasi mahavakya dwara that is the fifth topic this gnanam is uh, what gnanam i am the atma the consciousness self chetanam nityam satyam birthless deathless old ageless i the atma i need not worry about anything i need not feel insecure also body mind comes and goes any how world comes and goes they are mithya anatma this gnanam this gnanam is possible only through vedanta mahavakya so gnanam alone gives moksha there is no other way but what type of gnanam how i get gnanam that is given in the fifth chapter fifth topic that topic is from 105 to 109 vedanta mahavakyam gnanam janayati atma gnanam janayati we are not talking about uh, Uh, tula vidya we are talking about mula vidya you have to remove hmm? ignorance physics ignorance um, chemistry ignorance computer ignorance we, don't, we are not talking our topic is only atma agnyanam is the cause for uh, all problems problems in the sense insecurity mainly fear sorrow therefore that uh, can be removed only by atma gnanam atma gnanam is possible only through mahavakya vedanta vakya vedanta vakya alone can remove not any other vakyams there are so many statements in upanishads there are so many uh, state mahavakyam alone can give avantara vakyams cannot give moksha gnanam without gnanam you cannot get moksha therefore mahavakyam alone can give moksha that is the fifth topic from acharya you have to listen that also acharya krishna sureshwara acharya said mahavakya shravanam you have to do from an acharya atma satyatva siddhi you get only through guru upadesha mahavakya upadesha dwara that is uh, very very important that kurupakshi asked why only prayuvan sankhya was uh, refuted 
poor mimams also we have refuted mimamsaka system also we have refuted so all this sodhita tvampadartha advitiyata na sodhita tvampadartha you understand who you are first if you try to understand you will understand otherwise you won't understand so tattvamasi ಶ್ವೇತಕೇತು ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಸತ್ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ವಿಚಾರ ಹೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಭಾಗತ್ಯಾಗ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೆಗೇಟ್ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯ ಶರೀರತ್ರಯ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶರೀರತ್ರಯ ವಿವೇಕ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ವಿವೇಕ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿವೇಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ರೋಲ್ what is their uh, uh, nature means what is the cause for their birth their appearance etc etc then the drigdrishya viveka three types of vivekas minimum one has to do minimum anvaya vitreka one prakriya sharira traya viveka these are all anatma viveka sharira traya viveka and uh, panchakosha viveka and uh, drigdrishya viveka these three viveka these are the steps to understand mahavakya then only you can understand just uh, tatvamasi tatvamasi tatu means what tom means what if i understand the meaning of those words uh, if i learn sanskrit uh, little bit uh, what is tat that uh, what is tom uh, you that uh, you are guru said uh, now i am brahman it doesn't work okay okay viveka you have to do why body is mithya why body is not me why mind is not me why panchakoshas are not me that is uh, the vichara to be done why drik drishya viveka i have to do who is this drashta is really drashta is real or unreal the seer knower observer experiencer is also mithya temporary pramatha prama ಪ್ರಮಾತಾ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ದಟ್ ಕರಣ ಕರ್ತಕಾರಕ ಕರ್ಣಕಾರಕ ಕಾರಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆತ್ಮ ಸೊ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಕಾ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಕಾರಕ ಫಲ ರಹಿತ ಆತ್ಮ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಶರೀರತ್ರಯ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಆತ್ಮ ಸರ್ವದಾ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅರಸ್ಮಿ asmi aham asmi therefore bahagatyaga lakshana means what jaha dajahal lakshana so body mind complex you are making use of it upadhi this upadhi you are making use of it that upadhi as a upadhi you understand upahita chaitanyam i am all pervading available in this body also how long temporarily only for few decades few decades in many bodies in everybody in every body i am in the form of existence consciousness existence consciousness when this body is alive you have to get this then you yourself understand bhaga anatma upadhi bhaga is matter mithya it is not satyam bhaga tyagam you have to do tyag how you do purify and now you cannot separate them physically purify <laughs> sanskrit word i neither sanskrit nor third tamil or nor telugu okay i combined you purikiradanna tamil allo separating i combined tamil and some english unpurifiable swami ji used funnily that you word unpurifiable means body separately atma separately you cannot make any time separate because wherever atma is there there is anatma matter 
always either avyakta form or vyakta form matter is there you cannot separate them physically a bhagam tyagam how can you do intellectually intellectually this is unreal just like holding the pot you can say pot is not there pacharambhanam uddalaka said to uh, shetaketu हे श्वेतकेतु आचारंभण विकारो नामधेय मृत्तिव सत्यम इन उदाहरण सिमिलरली अहमे सत्यम मय्य सकल जात मयि सर्व प्रति मयि सर्व लयम याति आल दीज आर् अहम ब्रह्म अस्मी अद्वय ब्रह्म अहम अस्मी बॉडी मैंड कांप्लेक्स आल आर् जस्ट लाइक बबुल्स ब्लोटिंग इन मी दट भाग इंटलेक्चुअली ई i detach intellectually that uh, dissociation intellectually is called mithyatva nischayam that alone is called uh, what you can call a daita nivritti bheda nivritti that nivritti agnana nivritti that alone is the elimination of uh, ignorance elimination of duality elimination of anatma that alone is called knowledge so the remain portion is what one bhagam only you have did tyagam another bhagam is what atma i should not drop myself i cannot drop myself wherever atma is there body mind complex vyakta avyakta avastha it will be there let it be there in me they are all there appearing i the atma can always either asangatvat i can be with vyakta anatma or avyakta anatma they cannot touch me asangaha aham i am self luminous the last point is i need not be proved by anything i have uh, independent existence i am self luminous when matter is there i manifest if matter is in avyakta form i don't manifest like electricity bulb is there electricity will manifest bulb is not there electricity will not manifest non existence of bulb is not the non existence of electricity non existence of body mind complex matter non manifestation of the body mind complex is not my non existence my existence and non existence are not depending upon anatma body mind complex either it is vyaktam or abhyaktam either it is in manifest form or unmanifest form i am manifesting when body mind is vyakta avastha matter is in manifestation form i the atma manifest in through the body mind complex but i the atma ever existent principle body mind complex never existent really they are seemingly temporarily existent for vyavahara therefore there is no kriya karaka karma phalam is not there in me anatma alone has got kriya karaka accessories karta karma karanam location all these are only in anatma not in me i am kriya karaka karma phala rahitah atma this much is given by sureshwara acharya so i am सृष्टिकर्ता स्थितिकर्ता लयकर्ता ऐ एम मीन्स ई ब्लेस द मैटर टू अपियर अंड डिअपियर ई ब्लेस द मैटर मैटर इज चेंजिंग देर फोर ई कैन बी कॉल्ड एज सृष्टिकर्ता आलसो स्थितिकर्ता आलसो लयकर्ता आलसो ई एम ओनली प्लेइंग रियली देर ओनली अपियरेन्सेस so with this uh, he concludes acharya concludes uh, um, this um, chapter um, that is second chapter that's why lord krishna says tasya kartaram api mam vidhi akartaram abhyayam 
I am the creator as it were. I am the destroyer as it were. I am the sustainer as it were. I the Atma. Really speaking, I am Akartha. I cannot be the creator. Really speaking, Paramarthika Drishtya. Therefore, I am Akartha, Abhokta. That's why you can say that way. Vidhi Kartaram Apimam. Akartaram Avyayam. All these contradictory paradoxical statements we have to understand very carefully. So, 109 onwards, 119 conclusion after getting this knowledge, this much. Hmm? Uh, what are all topics? First, Atma Anatma Viveka, then Anatma Mithyatma Nishayam, Agnanam alone is Samsara Karanam, Jnanam alone is the Moksha Karanam. That jnanam is possible only through Mahavakya. That Mahavakya has to be understood with Bhagatyaga Lakshana, Tattvamasi Mahavakya. Then, after so much of this listening, a person became jnani. Now he laugh at oneself. He look at himself, what I did? Eh? What a foolish person I am, I did. I have wasted my time. My energy, so much time I have given for Anatma. Why I did like this? <laughs> he looked at himself and laughed at himself. Oh, funny. I am ever Mukta Swarupa Ananda Atma. With this, I conclude second chapter. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om